Aquaman, swift and powerful monarch of the ocean. Oh no, Aquaman, we've got trouble. Don't worry, I've got it. I'll get my sea pals to help. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? <coughs> Sorry, my paddle crabs are a bit rusty. Yeah, unlike Aquaman, you might not think a lot about the sounds that are made by these guys, but marine scientists do. So, like, all these underwater animals, they make noises? Yes, yeah, and um, there's, uh, there's quite a lot of animals that make noise. So you've got animals like the bearded seal. They produce this, um, what they call a spiralling trill. It sounds like it's come from uh, a space TV program. It is so odd. This is Dr. Miles Parsons from the Australian Institute of Marine Science. And he says the oceans are full of weird and wacky sounds. A paddle crab, for example, sounds like this. This is a strict scanard and a red piranha. What is your favourite fish out of curiosity? So in terms of sound, my favourite fish is the mulloway. Okay, it's, yeah. It is so loud. If you were to be right next to it, your chest would be in pain and your ears would hurt. It's very loud. If you had to try, what would a mulloway fish sound like? <laughs> okay, fine. You, you are <laughs> the only person I will do this for. <laughs> so it, it sounds, it's a, it's a bah, bah kind of sound. Miles says they make sounds for all sorts of reasons. For example, attracting a mate or warning off predators. And studying those noises can tell researchers a lot. So you can use it to get an idea of the animals that are in a certain place. You can use it to monitor the migration paths of animals like the whales. Now, Miles is leading a project to get all those aquatic sounds into one spot. It's the Global Library of Underwater Biological Sounds, or as we've affectionately called it, GLUBS. He says GLUBS will be a huge help to researchers. We're able to get a much better idea of how um, the soundscapes change in different places. This will help scientists track the effects of things like climate change and identify species. Miles reckons there are a lot of fish sounds out there that we haven't identified. For example, have a listen to this mystery fish that he recorded. The call I ended up calling machine gun Hutta Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reference to this piece of music, plus machine guns. Miles is hoping once the library's up and running, ordinary people will be able to add their own recordings. And we'll all learn more about the mysterious and melodious underwater world. So I just feel like the kids would want me to ask you if you are Aquaman, if you have his talents, because he can listen to fish. No, unfortunately, I'm not Aquaman. <laughs> I would love, I'd love to be able to stay underwater for so much longer. <laughs>